Jay here and Kevin Feige has put on a great show at Comic Con when he released the roadmap for Phase 5 and announced some Phase 6 projects and he showed us the roadmap for Phase 6, just not all of the projects. So now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 blank slots for Phase 6. Could be movies, could be series. And today I'm going to sit down and talk about what I think those slots might be. So first, let's start with those that are most likely to be in Phase 6. The first one, Armor Wars. We didn't get an announcement for that during Comic Con and I assume it's going to be in Phase 6 because they did announce this series way back in 2020. And I think it's fitting for them to do this in Phase 6 because Armor Wars has to happen after Iron Heart, I think, and the story there is kind of connected too. So that's where I think it's going to land. And next, Shang-Chi 2. I think Shang-Chi is going to be a major player in the two Avengers movies, and I think that having a Shang-Chi sequel in Phase 6 is the most logical thing to do. And next, Eternals 2. Okay, so Eternals may not be the most accepted movie in the MCU right now, but I really actually personally like it a lot. And I'm actually quite excited to see where the story for the Eternals go. Maybe they'll do the story in another movie, or maybe they'll actually do a sequel. I'm actually hoping that they do a sequel, and with the same kind of tone from the first movie, but let's see what they do with that. Next on my prediction list will be Doctor Strange 3. And I think Doctor Strange 3 will do a very pivotal role in introducing the concept of incursion because we are actually doing secret wars. So I think the concept has to be established first. What are incursion? What is actually the entire rule of the multiverse? Because until now, it still kind of feels murky even though Loki sets up some things, Doctor Strange sets up some things, it's still quite murky and I think a third Doctor Strange movie can establish the rules more better unless they plan to do it in another movie. And next would be the Wakanda series that was rumored or confirmed, I'm not too sure, but I think that a Wakanda series in Phase 6 might do the job because Black Panther Wakanda Forever is in Phase 4 and in Phase 5 we have no Black Panther content if unless you count Ironheart but yeah I think that Wakanda series might actually be in Phase 6 a high chance and my next prediction would be the Young Avengers happening as a Disney Plus series and the reason why I think this might happen is because they have been setting up the Young Avengers so far America Chavez, Miss Marvel, Kate Bishop, and I think it's all going to push toward the Young Avengers. And it can kind of be a stepping stone that leads into Avengers the Kang Dynasty. So that's my thoughts on my prediction. And next, the mutants. And I think that Phase 6 will be the phase to officially introduce the mutants into the MCU. It has been teased since Endgame, and that time... Kevin Feige said that it would take them 5 years and at that time, it would be about the right time for them to introduce the mutants. So, that's why I think about the mutants happening in Phase 6. And finally, I think that the 10 Rings series will happen in Phase 6. So, so far, other than Shang-Chi, the 10 Rings has also appeared in Miss Marvel. And perhaps it will play a bigger role in the MCU than we previously thought. And with Su Xiaoling now leading it, there has story potential to be explored there. So I'm not sure how they're actually going to execute the concept of this spin-off series or if there's actually a need or if it's a prequel or sequel. But I think that since they have kind of confirmed it, it will probably happen in Phase 6. So what do you think about my prediction? Do you agree or maybe you have some predictions of your own? Feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below.